Listen, I have class from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I've been going to some, some type of class for the past two weeks at this time. Yesterday, I slept really late, around 6 or 7 o'clock, I overslept. I wake up at around 2 p.m., um, and I check my phone. First thing I do, I check my phone. And I see my texts, they're blown up. My WhatsApp groups, all blown up. My group me, all blown up. My, my Facebook, all blown up. And then I go on Twitter. My, my notifications, blown up. Absolutely one of the worst trades in NBA history. The Chicago Bulls, to my phone's not going to stop. If you hear my phone vibrating, whatever, it's not going to stop. If you've not heard, or if you haven't heard, the Bulls have traded Derrick Rose to the New York Knicks for trash. For absolute trash. For this. Hold up. For this. Trash. This is who the Bulls have traded a former MVP for. No disrespect to Calderon, to Lopez, to that pick. That only in one on one all day. But we're talking about an MVP who averaged over 18 points last ye last year after All Star break started killing and started getting a groove, getting ready for this season contract year. He has to play good this year because if he doesn't, he's gonna get traded or he's not gonna get signed. And they trade him for trash, for trash, man. I tweeted about look, no player in NBA history for over the past 10 years. Well, obviously, there's a lot of players, but in Bulls history. Since Jordan has had more of an impact of the hearts of the players than Derrick Rose, and that's a straight up fact. He's the first MVP since Jordan. He's the youngest MVP of all time. No player has that emotional toll, right? I'm sure Jordan had it. He left and he came back. Emotional toll, right? Derrick Rose got MVP, then gets injured, then has the comeback, then inj inj injured again, then comes back again. Play with their hearts, play with their, you know, everything. Look, I, I, I'm going to be real with you. I went to a Chicago Bulls game, many games. Derrick Rose's standing ovation is absolutely insane. The crowd goes absolutely crazy. I go to Toronto, no disrespect to Toronto, but they got nothing on Derrick Rose's ovation, bro. When, when Kyle Lowry's name was called, when uh, DeMar DeRozan's name was called, it was quiet. It was Obviously, it was loud, but it was nowhere near the level of Derrick Rose. I'm just trying to make a point that Derrick Rose is Chicago. Derrick Rose means so much to this team, to this organization, to the... I don't think organization, but to the team and to the to the whole entire how the whole entire Chicago land, bro. He's the heart and soul. He's the MVP. And business wise, business wise, this is such a dumb move. Imagine how much money Derrick Rose makes. Publicity, shoes, international sales. This guy's an icon, bro. Imagine how much money he makes in sales, and this team is gonna just give him to the Knicks for trash. It makes no sense. This management, what are they doing? What? This is so bad. Look, for Joakim Noah, Paul Gasol, leave. Get out of here. Get out. Of, look, I'm done. I'm done with this team, bro. Joakim Noah, Paul, leave. I don't want you to be in a team like this. I don't want you to be in a team that's going to trade their MVP away like that. Joakim Noah, leave. Seriously, bro. You want you want to test free agency? Go. Go to the Timberwolves. They know what they're doing. Paul Gasol, go ahead, leave. Go join LeBron. Go join the Spurs. Go join OKC. Join a different team. Leave. That, that's, that's, I'm stating that right now. I care more about them right now because this team's management has no idea what they're doing. They make no trades. Last season, when all other teams are making trades, you think they thought they were good enough. Cleveland thought they were good enough when they got LeBron in love and they end up going for J.R. Smith. They go for Shumpert. They go for Mo Williams. They go for so many other trades for Mozgov. They kept on making moves. You know, Richard Jefferson, they kept on making moves. But no, Bulls were fine. They wanted to keep everybody. They didn't make the playoffs. They had chance and chance and chance. Bulls management, okay, we'll trade Kyle Culver. Okay, we'll trade Omar Rashik. Okay, we'll trade this player. We'll trade this player. We'll trade, we'll trade, we'll, you know, we'll get rid of Coach Thibodeau. We'll get rid of everybody. We'll just, you know, whatever. It's fine. We're good. We're going we're gonna to make the playoffs. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Yeah, okay. You just traded your, you just traded your most valuable player to, in, in history since Jordan to a different team. And this is wrong. And we got to do something about this. And I'm going to do something about this. I actually know the the 
the owner of the world's biggest Facebook Chicago fan page in the world, right? Not obviously their main page, but the fan page. I know the owner of that page, and I know he's been doing petitions and whatnot. And he, I, I don't know, he, I don't know, I didn't talk to him yet, but I know he's he's gonna be doing something. We might have to collaborate. We're gonna have to do something, bro. This is messed up. This organization is messed up right now, bro. This management. Look, I know they're good people and whatnot, but I have no idea what they're doing. And I swear, bro. I swear, no. Look. Oh my goodness, look, the uproar for the Chicago Bulls fan has to unite on this one, bro. Because look, I am, I, I've never seen, a, I have not seen one post where a Bulls fan has not been pissed. Obviously, there might be, you know, the few, eh, it's fine, good trade, whatever. Honestly, bro, listen, the fact that we got trash, it's, that's what we got, dude. Even if we got, like, a third round pick or something, at least we got that, at least we got a future. We got Jose Cole, John Ropen, Lo Robin Lopez, bro. We didn't even get Brooke Lopez. They're going to take us to the finals. Yes, that's that's what the Bulls are thinking. They're going to take us to the finals. Joakim Noah, leave. Paul Gasol, leave. Get out of here. If you were free agent, the Bulls, get out of here, bro. You got no, be just no, look. This t oh, my goodness, bro. Messed up. Worst trade. I've tweeted every single time he's made a layup, I've called him MVP. I've made so many videos for Derrick Rose. I've given my heart and soul to Derrick Rose on, online. And I've given everything. I've gone crazy when he scored. It just made me so happy. I've seen the game winners. I've seen the injuries. I've seen everything. I've been through it all. And now they're just going to trade this player that means so much to us just for nothing, bro. For absolute nothing. The fact that they traded him for nothing is a slap in the face. I'm done with this, this organization, this, this management, bro. They got to go. They got to go.